gotta hand it to Puff, man. Like, I mean, imagine, imagine, because I think he signed to like Arista Records first. I think that that's who his deal was originally. Craig Mack. No, uh, Bad Boy. Okay, Bad Boy. I think they had their deal originally with Arista. If I'm wrong, then. Yeah, I think something with yeah. Clive Davis. Yeah, with Clive Davis exactly. Mm -hmm. And imagine you you start a brand new label. This label is giving you millions of dollars. And you bring in Craig Mack and Biggie and said, these are going to be my two superstars right here. This guy with, you know, fairly. A rotund guy. A very rotund. And then a guy who, would, who, who, who is not traditionally handsome, let's say. Right. There we go. <laughs> um, yes. And now you got a guy like. Yeah, with um, a big, big fat dude with a lazy eye. Right. And, and you're then saying, another guy with like. Yeah. Right, you know, because well, it was like skin discoloration or something on the side of Craig Mack's face. Yeah, it might have been like maybe from acne or acne scars or something like no, that. No, I'm saying it was a whole dis almost. I don't know, not a vitiligo type oh, of thing. Oh, Biggie but like, or Craig? No, Craig. Craig. Like, okay. It, I don't know. It just looked kind of dark. Like when, if we really turned to the side, like when I seen okay. him in, in person, yeah, like when he turned him. to the side, it was like a little darker or something on, like maybe a little patch or something like. You yeah. see what I'm saying? And he looked like he might have had acne before. And right. You see what I'm saying? Right. And you bring in these two guys and you right. say... These are going to be my stars. Trust these me. These are going to be my stars. Trust and, me on and, this and one. I'm and gonna, I need a budget for these guys. Right. And I'm going to try to make them the sex symbols. And he succeeded with one of them. Well, I don't know if he tried that with Craig Mack. Probably not. But, well, I mean, you try it with everybody, right? You want the girls to, to like everybody. Well... You might want them, but to try to make somebody a sex symbol, see, see, Biggie set his shit up like a fat player. Like, you see what I'm saying? Um, which was not unheard of. Like, if you from the hood, you you actually did know guys like big, Heavy big D. fat dudes that was getting broad. Heavy D was like the first, like, fat, like, player rapper. And, and I remember there's even a story yeah. behind how he got signed. I think Andre Harrell signed him, and it was like no one, no one saw this. Like, yeah, he's gonna be the player, the fat dude, and everyone looked at him and said, "Nah, <laughs> like y'all, y'all tripping. This is never gonna I happen." Watch, you know, because y'all remember Heavy D, his teeth were kind of crazy, and well, yeah, yeah, I guess they were a little, a little, <laughs> <laughs> a little <laughs> diagonal. No, they were a little like rounded or something, something I think, like that, course. right? Um. And yeah, man, he turned Biggie into a bona fide sex symbol. I mean, girls was trying to fuck Biggie like, girls, they, girls, they love me. Because he's the overweight love of Heavy D. Like, they set that up. Biggie, one more chance. Like, you know, he's sitting there. I remember. Even on Juicy, he kind of set it yeah. up for himself. No, listen, he was. I remember someone pointing this out. In the video for One More Chance, he's sitting there with his wife in the bed with her bra. While he's talking to another chick <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> you know what shit. I'm saying? While his wife is just sitting there chilling, like waiting for him to be done. Some player shit. You see what I'm saying? Like that way, my motherfucker say, well, hey, I can kind of <laughs> believe this. Like, yeah. I, th I think it gave fat dudes a lot of confidence in general by putting that out in the universe. But I'm telling you, I knew fat guys, like even before Heavy D, I'm talking street fat guys with mm -hmm. money, where you be seeing them with a Bad broad, and you'd be like, damn, like money really is <laughs> some shit out here. Like, I'm talking obese dudes I seen, but these dudes had some paper and they had bad, slim, you know what I mean? You know, I, I was talking about this recently where women look for stability. Absolutely. And a woman in her younger days might go for the bad boy. Might go for the, you know, the, the pretty the good boy, looking, yeah, you know, yeah. the athlete in high school, mm -hmm. the 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 jock, the whatever. You get older. You As want they get older, some sort of security. You want security. You want stability. You want someone who's going to be a father to the children. That's going to help help with the rent, help with the bills, mm -hmm. build and, something. And so now together. looks don't matter as much. Anymore. Looks don't matter as much. You know, and some girls get on that early. Like fuck it. If you got money, right? I, I don't you know. I don't like taking the bus, especially once I get a taste of it. I think that's what happens: is the taste. Mm -hmm. Once you got a guy with a car, 
I would say 90% of women will not go back and date a guy on the bus who's taking the bus. Hmm. Once you date the guy with the car, right. don't want to go back to the bus again. Not really. Not really. Unless. Unless he's, you know, fulfilling other parts right. of whatever. Right. Fucking the shit out of you. Right. And just like, fuck it. I'll get on that bus. I'll get on that bus. Because <laughs> that's a different type of stability. Right. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> You're getting good, stable dick. So it's Sexual like, stability. Yeah. The dick is stable. Uh huh. I'll take it. <laughs> nice stable. Any kind of stability. Nice stable take. dick. Right. Um, yeah. So the fat dude with the, with the bad chick doesn't surprise me. In fact, I think that once you get, once money starts to play a role, the traditional dynamics of males and females starts to get reversed in a way where women will now start pursuing men more often than men are pursuing Mm. women. Dudes a lot of money ain't really chasing after girls all that tough. This is true. This is true. You're going to like what you like, but once you have a few dollars, you understand that you're, you have a lot of options. So, you know. Well, for some people, you already have a lot of options. You see, it just depends. Mm-hmm. Now, if you get money, that just makes it even worse. Right. You see? Um, yeah. But some people, if you didn't have options, now you get money. Now that's opened up a whole world of options. And this is where some people lose their minds. Right. Like uh, Kevin Hart. Like a Kevin Hart, yeah. Mm-hmm. Even go. like a little Yachty. Yeah, even like a little Yachty. Mm-hmm. He admitted he wouldn't get no bitches or nothing before this. Now he's probably losing his mind. 